Okay, Hebrews chapter two, verse seven to eight. You made him for a little while lower than the angels, which is made Jesus a little while lower than the angels while he was on earth. But after the earth thirty three period, thirty three years period, is over, Jesus back to the full throne of being God. Okay. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. So God the Father putting everything in subjection to God the Son. Now, in putting everything in subjection to Him, He left nothing outside His control. At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to Him, but we see Him for a little while, and all this stuff. Okay. Okay. So, the question is, what does that mean to us then? The uh, impact, the implication of that by uh, Christ, uh, everything will be subjected to Him. Putting everything, you know, everything in subjection, subjection under His feet, left nothing outside His control. What it means that the world, everything about the world, will be under the feet of Jesus. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine how powerful everything is subjection? Everything is subjection to Jesus, to Christ. So, what does it mean to us? And that's a tough one, right? I'm trying to bring the application now to our life today. If you know that you are serving the God that you serve and you love and you walk with, and who loves you and who owns you, who who give who gave His life on on the cross to die for us and rose again, of course. Um, that everything will be under this will be subject will be subject to put up everything will be put un, in subjection to him. Now, what does that mean to us today? Whatever problems that we face today, it's it's nothing. It's 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 like gimmicks compared to the scope and the immensity of the power and the majesty and the control and the sovereignty. Of King Jesus, really. That's that's called the King now, because everything will be put will be sub, put in subjection under His feet. You know, every one of us, every person. Well, you may ask at that time, who's going to be around? Okay, the dead will be raised for judgment. That's why it's a prophetic fulfillment of what is going to take place. In the end time, when Christ returns, that is what's going to happen. Everything, everyone will be in subjection to Him. Okay, so that is a that's a clear, important thing to understand. And after that, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next is that um, there'll be a consummation of the age. So now. Us now, we may not see. This is the Bible say, you know, um, right now we don't see everything under Him, but it will be everything will be under Him. So now, whatever we do is in the view that our future is strong. You know, our God is so powerful. You know, He's basically won the whole world, whole universe, whole earth will be under Him. So we rejoice, you know. We rejoice. First of all, we can rejoice. Second of all, we can put all our hope in Him. He will vindicate us. He will justify us. He will glorify Himself in our lives. You know that we will not be put to shame. That's why the Bible says, "Those who hope in the Lord will never be put to shame." Okay, if you put in your hope in the Lord, you will never be put to shame. But this is, um, you, some people may argue then, this is when He returns. Of oh, obviously, everything will be under Jesus' feet. What about now? Now, we're going through the crunching time, the time of purification, the time of uh, sanctification, the time of drawing near to God. And getting to know Him closer and more dearly, so that He will be glorified, so that we 
will become more and more like Christ. The end product of our lives is in the process of molding and shaping now that we become more and more like Him. You know, that's why we, we see all this anxiety in our lives, protests, um, trials, you know, some really unfortunate things happen in our family, in our lives. We hang on to the Lord. All these are part of the process of molding and shaping us like, like gold being purified by fire. Pure gold will come out of it. The ore and the dirt will be removed. So we are in the process of it. So, so don't be discouraged. Be strengthened. Look up. The King is coming back for us.